thankfully for us here back at home, yes, we have been dealing with some more minor to maybe moderate flooding, but the good news is even though we've got some rain on the way, those totals are going to be very light going into the weekend. Here's what it looks like outside from Bethany Lutheran College here in Mankato. Right now we are starting off on the cloudy side. We are going to see mostly cloudy skies today, though a couple pockets of sunshine are still possible. As you head out the door, temperatures mild this morning, 40s and 50s. We're at 50 degrees here in Mankato as well as St. Peter, Jackson and Esterville. 43 degrees in Forest City and Mason City with 49 in Blue Earth, we're at 48 degrees in New Ulm, St. James, Fairmont, and Owatonna. Seeing 51 in Redwood Falls, Worthington, and Spencer with 52 degrees in Wyndham. Winds, this is something we are going to be dealing with today. A little bit of a breeze here and there right now coming out of the south-southwest. Mostly up to 20 miles an hour, though you can see Slayton surpassing that at 23 miles an hour. Sitting at 20 in Worthington, 15 here in Mankato, and St. James with up to 18 right now in Wasika. This is a fun story of the day. Who's going to see rain? Who's not going to see rain? As you can see from satellite radar imagery, it's been spotty already since the early, early morning hours. We had a light rainfall here in Mankato, just a trace amount of rain. It didn't really amount to anything. As you can see, there's a little bit of a heavier shower between Fairmont and Albert Lee along I-90. But again, it is so light, and this is how today is going to play out as we take a look at that future cast. Just spotty sprinkles, mainly north and east of Mankato through the first half of the day. Now with these cloudy skies, it is a little saturated out there, so we could see a pop up sprinkle, but you might not need that umbrella until later this afternoon. We've got a line of more scattered showers, if you will, moving through around four o'clock this afternoon. And that's going to move west to east, but it really won't reach the Mankato area until between 10 and 11 o'clock tonight when it reaches us here in Mankato. We're back to those spotty shower chances, so anywhere from isolated to scattered out to our west, we're going to see more scattered chances, and as they move eastward, they're going to become spotty and isolated. Now, those isolated chances, again, becoming scattered by tomorrow morning, but mainly along and east of Mankato, and then they'll kind of fizzle out. As those fizzle out beyond I-35, we've got more spotty chances moving in tomorrow afternoon. Once again, those are going to move eastward, but staying light and spotty. And this is the story that's going to continue into Saturday. We'll have a handful of scattered showers, a handful of isolated showers. It's just going to be dependent on when they pop up and where you are. Some people may see rain, some people may not see rain. As far as rain totals go, this is for up until 12 a.m. Saturday morning. Very light. Most of the area looking at a tenth of an inch. Couple areas, again, mainly out to our west, looking maybe up to a quarter of an inch on the high end. But overall, we like to see these lighter totals because we are still dealing with some flood warnings along the Minnesota River. The lighter the totals, the less that means that water is going to get added to those areas that are already either dealing with minor to moderate flooding and or those areas that are nearing flooding. So again, the lighter the totals that we see, the better. Now today, despite those isolated sprinkles to very light rain chances, high of 69 degrees. If it's dry in your area, get out there and enjoy this wonderful weather or these temperatures. I should say a few scattered showers possible tonight with a low 50 degrees by tomorrow morning. Here's a look at your extended forecast. We're going to end April off with those on and off shower chances going through the weekend. These shower chances will bring May flowers with some warmer weather. Lots of sunshine next week. Temperatures really hovering in those 60s next week as well. Kelsey, Lisa. All right. Thank